We've been talking about masks this week and why some people choose not to wear them. Tonight, we're taking a closer look at one claim that says wearing a mask can put you at risk of carbon dioxide poisoning. These days, a lot of shocking claims are going viral. So our Verify team is working to bring you the facts. So here's what Jason Puckett found out tonight. Let's start with the claims. A few of you sent us this image titled Masks and Carbon Dioxide Toxicity. It says masks could trap exhaled carbon dioxide and cause us to breathe it back in, which it claims leads to CO2 intoxication or poisoning. Symptoms include breathing problems, muscle twitches, loss of judgment, and more. The image is being used as justification for not wearing masks right now. But is it true? Simple answer, carbon dioxide can be dangerous at high levels, but experts don't believe face masks put you at risk. Our sources here are the CDC and the USDA. So the USDA details how different levels of carbon dioxide affect us. Increase the concentration and you can experience drowsiness, increased heart rate, all the way to possible confusion and unconsciousness. So at high levels, carbon dioxide can cause physical effects. The key question is whether it's actually building to those dangerous levels in masks. The CDC says it's unlikely in medical masks and even less likely in homemade masks. They said carbon dioxide can build up over time in masks, but not to dangerous levels. At worst, you may get a headache, but certainly not carbon dioxide poisoning. And that's based on research about medical quality equipment like N95 masks. They have tighter seals and allow less air in and out. Homemade masks, especially cloth ones, aren't great at stopping air from going in or out, period. And that's not their purpose. The CDC says their use is to catch droplets that could spread the virus. So bottom line, while high concentrations of carbon dioxide can affect your health, we can verify the claims that masks are causing carbon dioxide poisoning or toxicity are false. Keep in mind, you shouldn't be wearing these for long periods anyway. The CDC only recommends masks when you're out in public and when you can't social distance. If you have other questions for us to look into, send us an email. With your Verify, I'm Jason Puckett.